So I figured, well, let's end this with a talk that is not about C++, but about the thing that we keep forgetting, which is we have so many great abstractions. When I go to google.com, I can just type, well, just get it and assign it to an auto. But that's actually not what's happening on the, under the water. So let's look under the hood and see what's happening, because we start with the first question, who am I? So let's ask. So I'm setting a DHCP discover. I am uh, nobody right now. So to everybody, does anybody have a name for me? Because I'd like to talk to somebody. And the Spear server says, well, yeah, I can offer you an address. Let me know if you want that. Um, OK, sure. So let me request that, please. I'd, I'd like to be Spartacus. That would be good. And it says, yeah, sure. For me, you're Spartacus. You have that for a week. And it tells me, well, this is my address. I have a netmask, so I know how big my area is. So it's like this room. I have a gateway which is somebody that I can talk to, who can talk to people outside the room. And I have a DNS server, which is somebody who can tell me where to find people. That's good. But maybe somebody else is also claiming to be Spartacus. So let's send out a message, which is an ARP message. It's basically, is anybody else here Spartacus? Good. We don't have Spartacus. <laughs> so now we're sending out a reverse ARP, which is basically the opposite of asking, is there a Spartacus, which is, I am now Spartacus. Good. So let's find out where to find Google. So we're sending an, a message to the DNS server on port 53. Please tell me where to find Google. Oh, wait, we can't do that because the DNS server is not here. So a uh, gateway. Can you send a message to the DNS server to ask where Google is? Um, no, I can't because I don't know where the gateway is. So I'm sending an ARP message to ask where the gateway is so that I can ask the gateway to send a message to the DNS server so that the DNS, DNS server can tell me where to find Google. OK, long story short, we found Google. OK, so let's connect. So TCP SYN, I am connecting to Google. We get answers. We have a TCP SYN and ACK, I heard you, I'd like to connect to you as well. OK, great, we're connected. So yes, I can finally send a, oh crap. They have HTTP tra uh, secure transport layer. So I can't use HTTP. So, OK, let's set up SSL. I mean, SSL is easy. So client, hello. I would like to talk to you using a secure algorithm. These are my options. And the service says, well, sure, I have these options. Thankfully, we have an overlap. Here's my certificate. Oh, my. I'm not sure if I can trust that guy. So let's find out if I can trust him. So the certificate is signed by some certificate authority. We do a whole bunch of cryptographic math, and we find that, that actually I trust the certificate authority, so transitively I trust him. But this is now actually the server that he claims to be, or is he just sending a Google certificate and it's actually just some hacker in the middle? So we're sending him a challenge. So we take some random bytes, encrypt it with a public key, and we tell him, well, please decrypt this for me. And if you're the right guy, then you can do that, because then at least you have the private key. So let's try it, and whew, he does. That's good. OK, so now we can exchange keys. We can get a secure channel. And finally, we can send him an HTTP GET to Google.com. And yeah, we managed. So this is just a reminder to be very, very thankful of all the abstractions we have. They make things so, so much easier. That's it.